G'day, that's Lock Car Guy here, and welcome to episode three of my five favorites. This is a series I created to show off some of my slot car collection and to have a chat about five different slot cars. Now, if there is a story to tell behind the purchase or the reason I got that slot car, I will tell it, but I always will try and give you my reasons why I did purchase that slot car. So stick around five very different slot cars. So what is car number one? Well, let's find out together. So let's kick it off with car number one, and I have gone scale HO, but not just any HO brand. I've gone with AFX, which is a brand that I grew up with in the 80s and 90s, and I still do really love the brand today, but I am a massive fan of the HO scale because I do collect die cast cars, Hot Wheels and Matchbox, and this is right up my alley. But this car you see right in front of you, you might be surprised how much this goes for on the secondhand market. This is a very collectible piece in the HO realm. It is part of the collector's series, but it is the Ford GT40, and it is part of the Mega G Plus series. And if you check eBay, this goes north of $300 on some good day. So it's very collectible, but I do love the Ford GT40, and I do collect the AFX cars in their blister packs. But a quick segue, you probably do know I am building an AFX slot car track in my man shed or my slot shed. So what better way to show off a beautiful slot car by AFX? So what have I chosen for car number two? Well, let's find out together. So car number two, I don't believe needs any introduction whatsoever because it's quite a new slot car, but we have gone back to scale 132 with the XJ220 in the Calstrillery by MRSlotCar.ca. This car right here was the very first car I reviewed from that company, and I tell you what, I was absolutely blown away. Not only did the slot car perform very well, but I do love the XJ220, which was a poster car from my childhood, and I did love that two second vision of it on gone in 60 seconds. So this car does mean a lot to me and well done to mrslotcar.ca because again, I was absolutely blown away with the review. And if you haven't seen it, please check out the channel. It's in my folders under review. So car number three, what have I chosen? Well, let's find out together. So for car number three, I have stayed with the Jaguar theme and I've gone with the XJR14 by Matchbox and SCX from back in the day, bit of a retro revival. But well, the reasons I went with this car is I do love the SRS system, the super racing system, which was released by SCX in the 90s, and it's a really cool chassis. And if you haven't seen one, grab one. They are really, really cool from back in the day. The front wheels turn, it's quite unique, and I will be reviewing this car in the future. But let's talk about the car itself. It's pink, it's purple, it's old school, it's got stick-on decals, and that's why I love it. And of course, I'm a sucker for box art. So here we are, the XJR 14 by Matchbox and SCX. I do love that matchup, but what do I have next for car number four? So car number four, I have gone with an old favorite being Ninko, and yes, I do miss Ninko as a slot car company. So if you are watching Ninko, please get back into it and start pumping out some beautiful slot cars again. But I've gone with the Renault Megane Trophy, and I, t I tell you what, this is an incredible looking slot car, and I think they've replicated the Megane perfectly. And it's quite a unique looking slot car, but I think I'm a bit biased to Renault because I have owned Renaults in my time, and the last Renault I had was a Megane RS275, which was one of my favorite cars that I've ever owned in my extensive fleet. I'm lucky enough to have owned a fair few cars, so maybe that's why I love this car so much, but they have done an incredible job representing Renault here in slot car form. So what's your thoughts? Do you like the Renault Megane? Because I think these are becoming quite collectible or any Ninko car is coming quite collectible now because they're no longer creating slot cars. So Ninko, if you are watching, please pump out some more slot cars. So car number five, what have I got to finish off episode three? Have I gone retro? Have I gone new? Stick around, let's have a look together. So to finish off episode three, I have gone retro with car number five, and I've chosen the incredible Porsche 935 Turbo in the Golf livery by Scalatric, but take a look at this beautiful packaging this car came in back in the day. The Scalatric Rally box, I think, is one of the nicest Scalatric boxes to date. The orange, the green looks really cool. The box art itself with the cars racing across the front of the box and the clear screen, it just screams retro to me. And I absolutely love it. And we are spoiled today with choice of car models, but I do appreciate when companies go the extra mile and give us a beautiful box that that car comes in. And I tell you what, some of the retro stuff is by far some of the best to date. So there we have it, the Scalatric Porsche 935 Turbo in the Golf livery for car number five. 
So that's a wrap. Episode three is done and dusted. I have chosen five different slot car companies and five very different slot cars from my personal collection to share with you today. And I would love to hear which one of these five was your favorite for episode three. And I do love hearing what your five favorites are on a weekly basis because we all do collect different things. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and YouTube, be safe, take care, support your local. Ciao. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side.